Okay, we have here today a really interesting looking integral. This one was from MIT 2006. We have the integral from zero to infinity, two x squared plus one times e to the minus x squared dx. Okay, the first problem I noticed here is just the fact that we've got an x squared here. This is always gonna be a problem, but there are a few ways we can handle it. If we could do a u substitution, that would be one way. Also, if we could somehow get this into the form of the Gaussian integral, that would be another way. But I think for this problem, we may need to use both. Now, also what I notice here, looking at 2x squared plus 1, because we have addition right here, what we can do actually is if I distribute in this e to the minus x squared, I can then split this into two integrals. So let's, so let's do that and rewrite it like that. So for the first one, we're going to have just 2x squared e minus x squared. And for the second one, we're just going to have 1 times e to the minus x squared or just e to the minus x squared dx. But this right here on the right, this is actually just the Gaussian integral. And what we do for this typically is we're just going to remember a value for this. This thing is actually going to be equal to square root of pi over 2. So knowing this part, we really can just focus on our first integral. And what I usually do for this, I'll usually do a u substitution and get this in the form of the gamma function. But in this case, because we already have the Gaussian integral over to the right, it'd be kind of nice if I could use that and get this into the form of the Gaussian integral as well. So for that, what I want to actually do on this is integration by parts. We'll use the di method over here to the right. And what I'm going to do with this 2x squared, I can actually split this up and write it as x times 2x. So I'm bringing down this e to the minus x squared. I'll just kind of break it right here. And then I'll differentiate this x part. And we can integrate 2x e minus x squared. The derivative here of x, that's just going to be 1. But now for the integral over here, you can maybe do the u substitution in your head, but I'm just going to do it over here just to make it really clear. So what I'll do is I'll write it as e minus x squared 2x dx. And then I'll do a u substitution. We'll say u is x squared. Then take a derivative. du is going to be 2x dx. So we have the du right there. So this is going to become e to the minus u du. Integrating this is going to give me just minus e minus u. But u is x squared, so this whole thing is going to be minus e minus x squared. And so we'll just use that value to fill in our table. So now putting everything together, we're going to have part of our solution here on the diagonal. So let me just write that down. We're going to have minus x e minus x squared. And this is going to be evaluated from 0 to infinity. Then this here is an integral. Okay, so but minus times minus is plus. So this is going to be plus 0 to infinity e minus x squared dx. But then let's not forget this piece, so I'm going to copy this one in as well. So this is going to be 0 to infinity e minus x squared dx. But now this is exactly the same as this, so we have two copies. So why don't I just get rid of all this, and we'll write it in up here, but as two copies or two in front, and we'll just squeeze it in right here. So now let's just evaluate this first piece. So first we need to look at what happens when x is infinity. We can look at this as a limit, just kind of do it really quick. If this is the limit as x approaches infinity, I can write e to the minus x squared. I can write it in the denominator like this as e to the x squared. But now this here is going to be an indeterminate form, minus infinity over infinity. We could do the Hopital's rule on it, but I think it's pretty clear that because we've got an exponential in the denominator, this whole thing has to be going to zero. So our first piece here is just going to be zero minus, then plugging zero in here, e to the zero is one times zero. This part's going to be zero. Then here we're going to have our plus two, but now again, this here is just the Gaussian integral, and we just memorized this value, square root of pi over two. So we'll just put that in right here, square root of pi over two, multiply it out. This part goes away, multiplying two times square root of pi over two gives me my final solution of just square root of pi. Okay, so there you have it. Good problem from MIT 2006. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.